So let's look real quickly at how do we add themes to WordPress? Because while WordPress comes with a couple of default themes, you may not want to use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my appearance menu and go to themes. This currently shows every installed theme in WordPress. Now, only one thing can be active at a time in WordPress. However, these are all my installed themes. So there's a couple things I want to show you. First is how do we change a theme from what we see to a different active theme? Right now, theme 2021 is active. And what I want to do is I want to select maybe 2019. And this is another one that comes with WordPress and I can look at it and go, this is what I want to use. I get a little default window and a little description over here. And I'll say activate if I want to activate that theme. Now, when I do that, if you remember correctly, I have my old theme over here. And you see my kind of basic content. And if I come and reload this, now you'll see it looks entirely different. And you might say, well, why is that? Well, that's the different theme. So a lot of times things that did exist or were there before are now going to be moved differently. My widgets will often change with my themes when I work with them. So I'll have to go back in and edit my widgets. But changing a theme is very easy once it's installed. Likewise, I may want to remove a theme if I'm not currently using it. So I can only do this with a theme that I'm not using. So if I come here and click on theme details, this isn't going to show up over here. But if I click on 2020, for example, notice that down on the bottom right hand side, I have a delete button and I can delete this and then click OK. And that's going to remove it from my WordPress website. You might say, well, why would I want to delete themes I'm not using? There's two main reasons. Number one is some themes, not all, but some themes take up a lot of space. And so you'll want to delete them if they're taking up too much space. The second thing is from a security standpoint, it's best to remove unused themes and plugins to reduce the chances that there might be a security hole that someone could go in and take advantage of, especially since 2019, 2020, and 2021 all come pre-installed with WordPress. Now, the odds that one of those have a security hole in it's pretty minor, but we don't want to take unnecessary risk. So swapping between our themes and even deleting a theme is very, very simple. Knowing what theme is active is very easy because I can see it right here. And if you want to look at how do you add more themes, we'll show you that next.